All right, great. Well, thanks everybody for uh, attending our session. So we're gonna um, present some of our recent updates, and uh, also we'll have a we'll have a live demonstration at the end. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay, I guess the overview. So um, I didn't really want to spend a lot of time on on going through the Structure Studio overview and and some of the stuff that we've shown in the previous workshop. So I'll probably blaze through that pretty quickly and focus on the third bullet there, which is our recent developments and some future work. And then after we're through through that, I'll hand it over to uh, Thomas Nashinzi, and he will discuss um, an X57 Maxwell demonstration and hopefully be able to do that live for everyone so they can see that. OK, so just a refresher for folks. Um, and again, I'm going to go through these quickly. Uh, Infrastructure Studio is a software that we've developed in-house primarily for predicting structural weight for unconventional vehicles. And we've integrated this tool with VSP. So this, this allows you to bring in VSP geometry and rapidly set up detailed structural analysis models for structural weight prediction. Kind of showing a, a quick review of our flowchart here, we kind of have six, six blocks that we proceed through. Our first step is a sketch point layout process where we'll add hard points to the open VSP components that we want to create structural models for, structural representations of. Once we do that, we'll move on to our sketch block which allows you to specify really all the kind of details that are needed to build up that structural analysis model. So we're going to define kind of the connectivity of our sketch points that create ribs and spars in your wings, for example, or bulkheads and floors in your fuselage, as well as loads, boundary conditions, optimization, material properties, um, all the things that are kind of needed to tie together an optimization ready structural analysis deck. Once you've done that, You'll run our M M4 Structure Studio FIM and merge capabilities, which will generate component FIMs for each of the components that you want to model structure for. It'll tie those together based on uh, the, the uh, way that you specify you want to bring those components together and build uh, kind of what we call a complete merged vehicle, which is shown there in the bottom center. And at this point, you're basically ready to run NASTRAN. So you put that model into NASTRAN and you'll run, for example, a design optimization for solution 200 type study subject to um, load cases and stress constraints, stress restrain constraints, and uh, generate your sized, uh, your sized vehicle. And then once you're done with that, you'll bring that back to our uh, weight tool where you can generate a comprehensive weight statement. Um, and, and this is a uh, you know, very detailed weight statement that allows you to slice and dice the weight by components and, and custom groups if, if, if uh, desired. Okay, so that was very fast. Um, also, I'm gonna throw up here quickly some of the selected applications um, that we've applied Structure Studio to. So here you can see, again, on the left side, all the VSP models for, for all these various different configurations ranging from rotorcraft, commercial transports, uh, electric GAs, hail vehicles, EVTOLs, BWBs, et cetera, here, and then their corresponding Structure Studio model that we've um, simulated and analyzed. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into the new stuff. So recent developments and future work. So uh, some of the big things that we did this time, so last time we, we, uh, we showed that we had support for Mac and Windows, we've now added support for Ubuntu version 20.04 LTS. And another thing that we worked on here is this crash load analysis capability. And really the goal of this capability was to develop kind of a, a simplified or, a, or, or basically represent crash loads and criteria that are kind of appropriate for conceptual design. And so we've drawn upon the mill standard 1290A uh, uh, load, cat, load uh, cases as well as FAR part 27. And created kind of this conceptual approximation where we're looking really for like a fast running kind of simple simpler model that's representative of the detailed analysis you know <clears throat> traditional crash simulation you might have a an ls dyna model for example where you're interested in looking at nonlinear structural fluid soil solid interactions and various failure mechanisms um, those those detail models uh, typically take Long, long run times um, for them to, to be simulated and, and, and obtain those accurate uh, kind of physical representation of the crash um, simulation. So we wanted to do something that was more representative of conceptual design. So what we've done is uh, more or less created this uh, total force uh, calculation that's done on peak acceleration and max gross takeoff weight uh, based on 
uh, crash loads that you've chosen uh, where we have point forces on selected locations of the vehicle. Right, you can see we've shown just like a, uh, one of the NASA UAM quad rotor vehicles there um, with a with a, a crash loads there on the rear um, landing gear shown in some results from that simulation. Um, moving on, another uh, addition that we've added is our Rotorcraft software integration. So we've developed kind of an integrated capability with um, XGen, Intelligent Cross-Sectional Generation Tool, uh, which is really a tool that's kind of a preprocessor for VABS, which VABS is a variational asymptotic beam section analysis tool. It's essentially a tool that's used to create uh, composite rotorcraft blades and we, we've essentially allowed now connection with that which I'll talk about that a little bit more in the next slide with infrastructure studio models and then ultimately along with um, RCAS for for doing uh, rotorcraft comprehensive analysis. Another thing here we kind of listed as at a very high level many usability improvements there's awfully too many to, to list here really uh, for, for this presentation, but I've caught out a couple of the kind of the handy ones that have been implemented in the last year. Um, shown on our right here, we have this sketch card copy and paste. So now we can actually um, copy cards and paste them. So if you ever get in the mode where you feel like you're creating too many cards and it becomes kind of tedious, um, the copy and paste functionality really expedites that process, uh, as well as this card deletion, undo and redo capability. Um, kind of handy features for expediting through the, the tool usage there. Um, we've also added material normal and orientation visualization capabilities um, and that that is super helpful when you've got composite material systems that you're trying to make sure your material coordinate systems are correctly aligned in the direction that you're expecting them to be when the structural model gets built. So we've kind of added a capability for that and you can easily correct any normals or misaligned things that you detect in your model. Okay, moving on to our uh, XGen RCAS tool. So really kind of the essence of this capability is that we have these infrastructure studio analysis models that we can generate kind of shown here in the top left where we've more or less um, modeled structurally um, the primary components except for the rotorcraft blade. So then you could combine this with say an XGen blade model, which we can kind of show down there in the bottom, bottom left uh, image and taking these two structural analysis models, combining these together um, using our, our uh, utility here that we've integrated into the Structure Studio software into a templatized input deck for RCAS. And, and really this is, this is use, using a kind of um, a, a modal response representation of the Structure Studio model that gets input into RCAS along with a templatized file for the XGen blade um, details and all of that will uh, feed into RCAS and, and you can run run a simulation within RCAS and, and basically extract those loads. So if you wanted to get rotorcraft loads out of RCAS you could do that and then bring those loads back into Structure Studio and, and resize your, your fuselage representation. Um, I guess a key thing to point out here is that we are not trying to reinvent uh, GRCAS or any, any kind of tool like that. We're, we're essentially apply, uh, uh, basically creating an integrated uh, capability to bring in the, these data into RCAS. The user still has to define all of their own load cases kind of on their own in on the RCAS side of things. Um, we don't provide any kind of utilities for that. Okay, so with that, uh, we're kind of moving on to the end here, the future work. So a um, bunch of future developments, potential future developments on our radar. Um, we've, we've looked at potentially integrating with additional geometry tools. We've had some interest uh, for, for, for basically developing additional on-ramps to the Structure Studio process, um, and, as well as replacing uh, the NASTRAN kind of structural analysis capability with other, other tools, um, get a lot of Get a lot of folks that are interested in, in using kind of open source analysis structural tools there so um, that's something that we're looking at um, as well as uh, basically developing additional post-processing capabilities um, once you've analyzed your model and you've done the weight statement generator um, it, it's useful kind of to look at some specific details 
uh, regarding your model in addition to just the weight and uh, some of those those capabilities might be nice to have in the tool as well, as well as certain customer feature requests that we've received. One thing I did want to call out is, is uh, we are a part of this uh, NASA University Leadership Initiative, or ULI, uh, round four that uh, came out, I think it was, I believe it was last summer. Um, and our proposal, our team, which is a larger effort of, of uh, I believe, nine other team, team co-eyes, uh, this is led by UCSD and John Huang, um, this rapid development of urban air mobility vehicle concepts through full configuration, multidisciplinary design analysis and optimization uh, effort uh, will be kicking off, uh, I think, I believe next week. And this is a three-year effort, which will leverage uh, some of the developments shown here. All right, I'd just like to acknowledge uh, NASA SBR program, that's Ames, Langley, and Army, Army Ames, as well as the CCRPP program for, for funding these developments.